run a space flight simulator discord called Fusion Space Industries and today we came out with possibly the best mod ever in Space Flight Simulator. It's called the FSI Info Overload mod and it can display things you normally wouldn't see in game when playing it in vanilla. Have you ever wanted to see the center of mass of your rocket? Well, now you can. Have you ever wanted to see where the center of thrust of your rocket is? Well, you can do that as well. Have you ever wanted to access what's under your fairings while you're in a mission? That's not possible, but now we made it possible. And that's just to name a few of the many features this mod has to offer. The mod was created by this awesome dude right here, and if you want it for yourself, it's in the first server in the description. And now I will take you through everything the mod has to offer. First off, let's start out with the build scene. As shown here, we have toggles for docking ports, center mass, thrust vectors, part colliders, and disable outlines. Starting with the docking port display, in the build mode, the docking port toggle shows the radius of the docking ports as well as their polarity. Green means it's positive, and red means it has a negative attraction force. In the mission mode, if the docking port's blocked, it will show up as pink. The mission mode also shows that if there's a docking port in range, a line would point between both of them, and the line's length would be determined by the strength of the docking port force. Next, let's look at the center mass display. When toggled, the center mass of all the parts will show in yellow, and the center mass of only the selected parts will show in green. In the mission mode, as you shift the fuel from one tank to the other, you can also see the center mass move as well. Have I caught your attention yet? Well, let me tell you there is so much more to the mod, and we are just getting started. Because next we have thrust vectors. The thrust vectors can show the average thrust of all the engines, shown in orange, and it can show the average thrust of just the selected engines, which which is shown in green. Next, we have part colliders. This shows the location of the parts that collide with other parts as well as the ground. Take the wheel, for example. The spoke of the wheel doesn't collide with anything, yet the circle of the wheel does. And for things like fairings, we have a light blue color that collides with parts and the ground, and the dark blue outline on the parts represent colliders that only collide with the ground. Lastly, in the build scene, we have an option to disable part outlines. This is for people who make incredibly detailed builds, where the pieces might be so small that the outlines would otherwise block it. Now let's move on to the mission scene. As you can see here, most of the options are the same from the build menu, however there are a few that we haven't gone over yet. The terrain colliders, engine heat area, load distance, and interior view. And this is where things get absolutely nuts. Let's first take a look at the engine heat area. The engine heat area shows the area where the engine can burn parts. Anything outside of that area and parts don't receive heat damage and anything within that area and the parts will burn up. Next let's talk about terrain colliders. We added this feature just so we can see how the terrain terrain colliders generate in so we can find ways to later abuse them. The terrain colliders show up when the rocket approaches the planet, and when the rocket leaves the planet, the terrain colliders disappear to reduce lag. Now let's talk about render distance. Here we have a toggle called load distance, and it basically shows the radius in which crafts will get loaded and unloaded. The game has an average render distance of 5 kilometers, however there's a 0.2x multiplier. This is why you have two circles. The green circle represents the distance required to load surrounding crafts, and the red circle represents the distance required to to unload nearby crafts. This last part about the mod that I'm about to cover is probably one of the most requested features that people want in Space Flight Simulator. If you know what I'm talking about, you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you've ever tried to access things that are under fairings, it's quite literally impossible unless you revert your flight. However, all that is about to change. We made a toggle that allows you to see the interior mode of fairings so that you don't have to revert your flight if you forgot to stage something. That is all I'm going to cover for this mod today, and if you thought we're done with this mod, you are absolutely very wrong. We have a whole list of things that we want to add still, and one of them includes possibly being able to build in the mission mode, and that is going to be an absolute game changer. I can't wait. I'm sure you can't wait. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.